All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Radash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us his truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which is us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We make up the biblical 12 tribes to the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm here with a quick lesson, uh, Lord willing. And I'm going uh, to get straight into the uh, scriptures. This is St. John 16, verses uh, 32 and 33. Now, uh, I will say this real quick before I hit these uh, verses. This is, you know, Yahweh Shai speaking to the 12 disciples, which became apostles. And uh, these are some of the words that he spoke to them before he went through his hour of temptation. Okay, his hour of temptation started when uh the chief priests and the pharisees okay of uh israel had grabbed him up and from uh, uh you know from there you know he went to uh pontius pilate you know so forth and so on all the way up until he was uh crucified you know but before the actual crucifixion he was beaten slapped spit on right and uh pretty much tortured not pretty much we was tortured all the way up until you know uh being put on the cross which that's tortured was torturous too the crown of thorns put on his uh on his head right and um you know yahweh shai knew he was gonna have to go through this and he prayed you know yahweh shai prayed for another way and the most high didn't uh answer him because the scriptures is already laid down you know of what was going to happen the, the prophecies and how the Lord was going to come and what he was going to have to go through to uh, redeem the nation of Israel ultimately you know or I'll say this uh, pay for the sins of the nation of Israel starting with the elect of the nation of Israel right so let's get into uh like i said these words these are some of the words uh that yahweh shai laid upon the, the disciples before he went through his uh hour of temptation so let's get it this uh saint john 16 32 it says behold i will come it yea is now come that ye shall be shall be scattered every man to his to his own now uh let me get a scripture real quick before I read on because this is Yahweh Shai speaking to the 12 apostles, right? But um, in a spiritual sense, this applies to um, applies to us in uh, our walk in this truth and especially coming into we all about to enter into the hour of temptation. You know, that time is not far away. So this is Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we're supposed to, you know, read these scriptures and learn from them and, and, and uh, let these scriptures put us in a particular mindset. Okay? The same mindset of the, the, the prophets, which the disciples which became apostles were prophets okay what did Yahweh Shai tell them he told them which just applies to all of us he said let's uh, go and uh, preach another word for preach is to prophesy the kingdom of heaven is at hand and that's exactly what we're doing following in the stead of what the uh, what Yahweh Shai did and what the apostles did right so we're supposed to learn from all the scriptures. So let's read it again. It says, Behold, the hour cometh, yea. This is uh, back in St. John 16, 32. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his to his own. Now, uh, the most, we're not scattered, <coughs> okay, because what was going to happen? What was Yahweh Shai telling them? That uh, it was going to come a point in time when, which was really about to happen very, very soon. 
that they was gonna grab him up and they were all gonna get scattered for a period of time before they came back to uh together all right so he was giving them you know giving them some some words to comfort them as we're gonna uh find out when we read on so we are not uh for us you know in this time we're not scattered well we are scattered you know the elect is scattered across the four corners of the earth but we're unified through the spirit okay through the uh, wisdom knowledge and understanding of these scriptures now what does the scripture say um let me get it real quick <clears throat> about pretty much about our walk in this truth that it's a solo walk though we have the brotherhood you know um yeah though we have the brotherhood and of course i'll just leave it right there for now we have the brotherhood you know it's still a uh we're still walking in this truth by our uh selves in a, in a spiritual sense because our salvation is based upon us it's not based upon or each each of us our individual selves you know we're not going to make it based upon the works of another man or being a part of a brotherhood if you know you're not putting in well first if you know we're not of the elect you know and then if you're not uh carrying your your weight so to speak in the, in this truth all right so uh let me bring this scripture out I'm trying to find it second timothy I believe it is right the second timothy chapter 2 verse uh 3 it says thou thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of yahweh mashiach okay so yes this is a uh a, a joint mission because we're a part of a ministry and at the same time it's a, a solo walk or you know being a soldier okay or, or in other words walking uh solo in this truth just like if we were in a actual battle right going out to war you know you're going out to war as a uh, as an army right or military but it could be a situation if, uh, especially if things get hectic and crucial where you're by yourself separated from the group you know and every man gotta carry his weight to the uh to play his part as part of the mili uh army or the, the military right so let me read that again uh this is second timothy two and three thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of yahweh shah mashiach now i want to go back to uh saint john 16 32 where I left off, it says uh, that ye shall be scattered every man to his to his own, and shall leave me alone. Right, because Yahweh Shai walked his uh, our temptation without the apostles, you know, which was what I mentioned earlier, getting slapped, uh, beat, crowned a thorn, put on his head, uh, 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 and cru ultimately crucified put on the cross right and he did that alone and uh the disciples they were scattered you know and then eventually they came uh back together you know and i'm gonna read on it says in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world and you know we're supposed to take this and internalize it you know and uh, let this put us in a particular mindset, which is what? Telling us that, look, in the world, we're going to have, we're going to catch hell. We're going to catch hell in this world. You know, we don't have our woman. Uh, we're under this, uh, we're living in an oppressive city. And here in Babylon the Great, right? We're subject to payments. We don't have, we're eating polluted food. Uh, drinking water in plastic bottles, you know what I'm saying? The air is polluted, okay? 
and then wickedness is just prevent uh, at its pinnacle. Homosexuality, lesbianism, and all other men of abominations are uh, happening. You know, as this lesson is going on, as we speak. So I'm gonna read on. It says. These things, uh, where was I at? Matter of fact, I don't, I may have jumped some words, um, I mean, some words in this verse. I'm not, I can't remember. Salakia for that. <clears throat> let me back, let me start back up at St. John 16 32. It says, Behold, I will come, and yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his, to his, uh, own. And we gotta approach this truth with a mindset like that, that, you know, we gotta seek our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know what I'm saying? That it's about our walk, even though we walk in, uh, as part of the ministry, in order for us to uh, make it through these trying times to come, and also to, uh, I mean, ultimately, to be delivered, you know? It says, and shall leave me, leave me alone, yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. And, you know, we're not alone because we have Yahweh, why Yahweh shot with us. And uh, the holy angels also watching over us, you know. Now, verse 33, it says, these things have I spoken unto you that ye might have peace. I believe I skipped, I'm not sure, I think I skipped over that part of the verse, so I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, yeah, and uh, Yahweh was saying those words at that time, all those different words that he was dropping on the apostles, plus what he was telling them right here in this verse, he's speaking them things onto them that they may have peace, but not only that, this, the whole scriptures, you know, or all the scriptures, you know, what does this what does the scripture say in Psalms 40 and 7? Let's get that real quick. It says, uh, Psalms 40 and 7, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So all these words, you know, are uh Yahweh side words which give us uh peace. You see, it says, In the world you shall have tribulation. So as we walk through this fucked up world because of the so-called white man ruling that's why tribulation is coming down because the wicked is in power the scriptures say when the um, when the righteous is, is in authority the earth rejoice but when the wicked bears rule the earth mourn okay so we're gonna have tribulation in the world but our peace is gonna come through these scriptures knowing the end game right which the next part of this verse is going to express it says be I'm sorry but be of good cheer I have overcome the world see we gonna catch hell in the world but be of good cheer because Yahweh Shai have overcame the world right the Yahweh Shai overcame the world by dying on the cross okay so it's finished that what was need that uh was needed in order to bring about the rest of the prophecies okay that that the all the prophecies may be fulfilled and we get up out of here okay and uh Yahweh Shai dying it opened up the knowledge to us the understanding of the scriptures it tells us that in the revelation the fifth chapter right he opened the seals to these scriptures so that we can understand the end game how it's all going to play out and we have that understanding and we know yeah we're going to have tribulation go through, walk through tribulation because the scriptures tell us in uh, Acts what is it 14 22 or 13 22 that uh, matter of fact let's just get it
Yeah, Acts 14, 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. See, we must through much tribulation, that tribulation we gonna catch in the world, just like Yahweh Shai told the apostles, okay? We're gonna have to walk through this tribu uh, uh, trying world, this turbulent world, in, uh, uh, in order to enter into the kingdom, okay? Yet we have comfort or peace in these words. Now, um, got a couple of more scriptures and I'm going to end this lesson. We get the book of First Maccabees 12. And that's what it's all about, you know. It's all about us having the faith and believing in these scriptures to uh, keep us sane keep us uh stable as we we uh patiently wait for for uh salvation and it's gonna be a a, a turbulent time or we you know we're going through these turbulent times catching hell man and the, hey we about to enter into the hour of temptation but be of good comfort all of us take we supposed to take on that mindset um, of good cheer, that's what the scripture said, because Yahweh shall have overcome the world. You know? First Maccabees chapter 12 and verse 9. Therefore we we also, albeit we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of scriptures or scripture in our hands to comfort us. Okay, so we're this is uh was gonna comfort us while we walk through tribulation in this world, you know? And it is comforting. It's the only comfort we gonna get, you know? And uh, the scriptures tell us in Isaiah 33 and six that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So as we going through this tribulation, which is gonna lead into the hour of temptation, which is uh by the way I didn't say it is the uh the mark us being uh presented to take the uh with the mark of the beast which is the RFID microchip to take it you know in a in a very uh draft it's gonna be a very drastic situation when they present it every the the world is gonna be flipped upside down even more than what it is. Everything is going to be, you know, jacked up. And uh, that chip is going to be presented as a way of uh, rescue from all this, this hell, you know. But this uh, wisdom and knowledge for the elect, you know, is, is, is going to keep, is going to hold us down. Lord willing, you know, I'm of the elect. And, you know, the ones that's pushing this word and truth and sincerity, you know, doing all to, to, to stand in these evil times, you know, will, will be held down by the, uh, by the scriptures, by the belief in the, in these scriptures, belief that Yahweh Shai is going, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to make good on their, on his word, you know, so Lord willing, this video was uh, edifying. I'm going to end it right, right there. Um, yeah, St. John 16, 32 and 33 is what prompted me to go into this uh, particular lesson. And uh, Lord willing, you know, once again, I, I hope it was edifying. You know, so um, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing. Yeah, the the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone which taught us this truth through the spirit and uh, peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel and you know Shalom and we must uh, I didn't say this but I want to just get it out before I cut the camera off uh, prayer prayer is a part of you know our uh, having peace because Yahweh Shai told us to pray you know and so did Paul and the other 
apostles also, you know, so Shalom.